James Cameron's Avatar The Way of Water has currently made more money than the RDA has made collecting unobtainium, outperforming expectations worldwide, and setting new pandemic era records. It's made $1.7 billion in under four weeks of release, smashing the early predictions of many, and it's still got a long haul to go, in which box office analysts have predicted a huge final total. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the current box office results and giving my thoughts on what that final number could be. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my future content or updates on James Cameron's Avatar universe, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. But without further ado, let's dive into the current box office results for Avatar The Way of Water. So Avatar 2 topped the domestic charts for the fourth consecutive weekend, making $45 million, and according to worldwide box office figures, the current global total stands at $1.7 billion in under four weeks. It had the second best fourth weekend of all time at the US box office, and right now, it's the seventh highest grossing film worldwide in history. Of course, we learnt last Thursday that the Avatar sequel went ahead of Top Gun Maverick to become the highest grossing film of 2022, and by the end of this week, it will likely cross the total of Spider-Man No Way Home to become the biggest film since the start of the pandemic. After its moderate opening, many people online were quick to jump to the conclusion that Avatar 2 wouldn't have the long-term grossing effect of, say, James Cameron's previous films with the first Avatar and Titanic. But it currently seems that The Way of Water is smashing those expectations out the water, with box office experts predicting that the film is likely to end up as one of the top three highest grossing films of all time. Luis Fernando, who has been keeping an eye on the box office data, said last week that the film is currently tracking to make anywhere between $2.2 and $2.8 billion worldwide, meaning that if it continues showing strong legs in the week ahead, it very likely will get close to the box office totals of the first Avatar film and Avengers Endgame, which currently take up the top two positions on the all-time charts. James Cameron had said a few days back that the film is now making a profit, and with these new updates, this is only good news considering that it's still got a long way to go. And the fact that this particular movie apparently costs more than the other Avatar films in production shows that the long-term success of this franchise is in very good hands. The cost of filming a third Avatar film and developing the scripts for a fourth and fifth film were partially included in the large $350 million budget for Avatar 2, which means that the latter films in the series will become a lot more profitable if we get similar numbers to what we've been getting with The Way of Water. So this only means great things for Avatar 3, and I think the current box office performance of the latest film suggests that the Avatar franchise has a much greater cultural impact impact than people on social media and YouTube have been trying to suggest. If you're not in the loop, there were many people who claimed that Avatar doesn't have a big cultural impact in comparison to other franchises with more theatrical releases. But what I'd argue is that if a 13-year-old sequel is able to challenge box office records and have incredible legs week per week, isn't that suggesting that the original Avatar did have a big cultural footprint? I think it did, and and I think these results prove that the people who are complaining about Avatar in saying that it would flop are just a small minority online. It's now clear that most moviegoers who enjoy James Cameron's work and have enjoyed this film are going out multiple times to see The Way of Water, and that only means good things for Avatar 3 and the rest of this franchise. It's a win for cinema because in this age of constant streaming and repetitive formulaic blockbuster films, we have a filmmaker not an already established franchise or well-known IP, making successful films and turning his original work into a new successful franchise itself. It's been the old school way of doing things, and I think that has to be applauded even if you're not a fan of the Avatar films, because we don't see this line of success too often. And of course, as someone who does like this film and supports immersive cinema, I couldn't be happier to see it do this well. 
So now we come to that big question, will Avatar The Way of Water break the global box office record? Now, as spoken before, the current prediction is anywhere between 2.2 and 2.8 billion dollars, meaning that it's likely going to become one of the top three highest grossers of all time, even if it doesn't set the record. Those figures blew my early predictions away, which were originally between 1.5 and 2 billion. So right now, with these new figures, I'm going to to predict that Avatar 2 will make around that $2.5 billion range. I think it will come close to the first Avatar and Avengers Endgame, and while I don't think it will cross those totals initially, I still think there's a chance that on re-release that this film could eventually break those records. And that again adds to the cultural impact debate, because if The Way of Water can do as well as the first Avatar or better on re-release, then clearly people want to watch those movies multiple times in fear. And not to forget that this puts Avatar 3 in a good position to thrive and make even more money if it's true that James Cameron is saving the best of this franchise for the next three films. He said in recent interviews that Avatar 3, 4 and 5 get really nuts from a storytelling perspective and even the studio were shocked by what he was doing with the scripts for those films. So with The Way of Water being a great reintroduction to Pandora and setting the table if you will, the next films, if true to the director's words, will be the main meal. We'll have to see, but right now, I'm going to say that with its current strong legs at the box office, I think it can hit that $2.5 billion mark and maybe set the new record with a re-release before Avatar 3. I do think that one film in this franchise will hit the $3 billion mark, whether it's a future film film or a re-release of Avatar 1 or 2, but overall, it's just looking great for James Cameron's universe as a whole, with The Way of Water's box office not slowing down. But that was my video discussing the current box office performance for James Cameron's Avatar The Way of Water. It's going to be interesting to see how the film holds over the next few months, as up until Ant-Man and releases after February, it really hasn't got that much competition to stop it. Again, I think through having legs, it's going to end up in that 2.2 to 2.8 billion range, and then with a re-release or two in the years to come, it could end up dethroning Avatar and Endgame to becoming the highest grossing film of all time. The next few weeks are important if it's going to come close to those numbers, but its performance over the first month has been nothing short of astonishing. So hopefully we'll see that continue, and this great box office news will only affect the other Avatar sequels in a positive way too. But what do you think of the current box office for James Cameron's Avatar 2, and how much do you think it will make by the time it ends its run in theatres? Let me know down below in the comments section. For more videos surrounding Avatar 2 and the upcoming sequels in James Cameron's growing universe, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.